You're you're a free agent, so you're waiting mm-hmm. for some opportunity to kind of pop off for you. And I mean, we those who have done it understand it. All right, there's this, mm-hmm. this period where we're just waiting to hear from our agent. We're waiting to hear from a team, a rep, something. We're just waiting. Explain to the people who have no idea what this time period is. Explain the dark hours. It, it, it just kind of let people Oof. know what, what this means for us as overseas basketball players. It is the hardest thing I will say about playing basketball overseas. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. Um, normally guys who play college are even with high school basketball, you know, when the season is starting, you know, you're going to be on the team, you know, what the practice schedule is going to be like, what the game schedule is going to be like. You even know when the season is going to finish, but with overseas basketball, you never know. You never know. You could have one season where you're on fire, you play really well, and then the next season, uh, there might not be any calls. And you might not even play a season. Or there could be a season where you go late, which is something that I've dealt with the past few years myself, where I don't start the season with the team. I will typically go after Christmas, around the beginning of New Year, sometimes even end of January, where I'll go to a team that needs a player, Uh, They want a veteran with experience to kind of help teams get to the playoffs, push to the playoffs, or sometimes even just to stay in the league. So sometimes when you get, you know, when you become a vet and, you know, sometimes situations where there could be new coaches in the league, they might not know you because they're coming from somewhere else and they can get, you know, they can say, well, we don't think this guy is good enough or we don't know who this guy is. We saw this guy play before. We want this guy. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you have to deal with that. You have to deal with uh, sometimes leagues change the rules on how many Americans they can have. Um, I've dealt with everything, man. So like the and the process is tough. You know, you, you get home and you finish the season, for example, around May or June. And then you're working out. You know, you spend the first couple of months. You're feeling good. You're working out. You know, you're partying with your friends. You go on the nice dinners. Then around, I would say around August, you start to say, hey, what's going on? Uh, That's usually when teams start preseason at the end of August. Um, And then September comes and you're like, ah, man, you know, the season's right around the corner. Teams are starting. And then uh, September comes around and you're like, well, the season started. I'm not with any team. And then from there, you're just like, "Ah, when am I going to get the call? Am I going to call my agent? How many updates is he going to give me? Um, uh, what's our situation? Where could we possibly even go this year? I mean, there's so many different things that's kind of running through your head. And I tell people, I tell the guys all the time, like, if you've never experienced it, you don't know. But if you do get to that point where you do experience that, and it can be a lot of stress at first, but like, I think in that time there, you have to continue to work out. Most important thing. This is, this is your job now. So you have to, you know, You have to treat this as your job. So you do have to continue to work out. You have to try to find different avenues to kind of take your mind off of it. Um, Spend time around family and uh, see your friends still and and still kind of enjoy things while you're at home. And just at that moment's notice, you got to kind of be ready for that call. And then when you do get there, it's like it's go time. I mean, there's no there's no preseason. There's no, you know easing into things you got to go as soon as you get there sometimes guys have even played right off of getting the plane uh getting off the right plane, off the plane so. yeah um and having to yeah, drop it's, 30 it's, sometimes it's crazy <laughs> yeah drop 30 after a 20-hour flight <laughs> so 